here we have one of my favorite mushrooms. Can you come in and have a look at this? I have a beautiful collection of uh, these guys, Lacrimaria lacrimabunda, not an easy name to say. Uh, and there's actually a few of these, so we'll just move back. Have a look at this cluster here. Uh, and so here I've pulled off a few. And so you can see that they're growing in a big cluster from a common base. So often you find these mushrooms growing in that way. The fancy name for that is uh, cespitose clustering. Uh, and you can see they have this beautiful kind of furry uh, tan brown colour with the stems being a bit lighter in colour. Uh, if we look under here, I don't know how easy this is to see, maybe I'll just break one off. Can you see under the, under the cap there yeah, where the gills are? Is that in focus? And so if you remember or if you saw my video on Agrosophy parasitica, it had a beautiful hanging skirt annulus. This is what's called a cortina. And so a cortina is like a primitive annulus. So an annulus is a covering on the gills that then, when the mushroom matures, separates and forms that skirt. Here, that covering is much finer and more cobwebby. And so uh, when, the, when the mushroom opens up, that, um, that cobweb will essentially disappear. If we look at a bigger specimen, though, where you can see the gills, uh, you can see the ragged edges of that cortina there. You might also be able to see there's some dark coloration around there, and so that's the spores. So this is a very dark black spored mushroom. Uh, if you ever want to take the spore print, uh, cut off the stem, put it on a, a piece of paper, gill side down, put a little bit of toilet paper, moistened toilet paper on the top, and then put it on, uh, cover it with a bowl that is slightly moistened, and leave that overnight. What you might be able to see, can you see in there there's some water droplets? And so the name of the mushroom comes because it often has these water droplets on the gills, so it's like it's crying, so uh, lacrim for, for crying. And the, the gills are, it's probably hard to see, but the gills are very kind of ragged and uneven on their surface. Normally they're quite flat. Uh, and they're also a little bit marbled in colour, so those are telltale characteristics of this mushroom. Uh, also, its stem is hollow and it breaks a bit like chalk. The final thing I'll point out is that you notice growing right in amongst them is a completely different species. So this is a little lepiota uh, species, and so this is a white spored species with white gills. So these are beautiful collections. I haven't figured out what they actually grow in. They seem to grow in a variety of completely different environments, uh, so it's a mystery to me uh, what, they, what they're actually growing.